Hello everyone. Today I'm excited to show you a really cool extension for Comfy UI that I've been experimenting with. I discovered it a while ago, but back then it was unusable because it wasn't optimized for Comfy UI. When I tried to run it, it was a total disaster. But now, since they've ported the repository to Comfy UI, it works like a charm. The basic installation is pretty straightforward. Everything is explained in the repository. You just clone the repo, install the dependencies as usual, and you're good to go. As for the models, most Comfy UI users probably already have them. They're all listed in the repo. If you don't have them, you can easily grab them. The FP8 model, the full model, the VAEs, and so on. The most important part is to download four LoRa's and place them in your LoRa folder. If you don't have a LoRa folder, you'll need to create one. You'll also need the Flux Turbo model and its associated LoRa's. The extension comes with two main workflows which you'll find in the custom nodes directory. There's a simple workflow which I've opened here. It includes Flux Turbo, LoRa, Dream Sensor, CFG Style, and positive and negative quality settings, all provided by the repository itself. Nothing too special to note. The Dream nodes are here with a simple scheduler and so forth. This extension supports up to three reference images. In this example, I'm using just one. It's compatible with FluxDev, FP8, and other models as I mentioned earlier. I personally use this one because it delivers really high quality results with minimal steps. For instance, I uploaded a photo of Emma Watson and asked the extension to generate a woman playing the guitar in the street. If everything goes well, we should get a solid result. To give you some context, this extension uses three main modes for handling reference images, IP, which considers the entire image, including clothing and pose, idea, which focuses solely on the character's face, and style, which applies a specific style like a cartoon or artistic effect. These modes give you a lot of flexibility to create consistent characters. Let's see the result. It's pretty fast. And here we go. It's actually quite nice. The resemblance is spot on, and the clothing is coherent. What's great about this extension is that it lets you create consistent, coherent characters exactly how you want them. Now let's try something else. I'll ask it to add a red bag, just to see what happens. Here's an important point. We're currently in IP mode, which means the extension uses the entire reference image, including clothing. In my test, she's indeed carrying a red bag, but the pants are red too, which wasn't planned. They also went a bit wild with the hair, I'll admit, but overall we still have the black top from the original photo. Now, I'll switch to idea mode. In this mode, the extension focuses only on the face. If I add to the prompt that she's wearing a denim jacket, we should get that result, if all goes well. Here's the output. The outlining isn't perfect since this is a recent custom node, so there's room for improvement, but it's already pretty cool. The result is spot on. The face is preserved, and she's wearing a denim jacket in the street. Next, let's talk about style mode. With just one reference image, I'm not sure we can work miracles. For example, I'll try with a picture of a cat. This is a live test, so I have no idea what we'll get. It's going to be a surprise. I set the steps to 12, left the default settings, and only changed the model. Let's see what it produces. Okay, it didn't quite work for the style. I'm not sure what it did there. This is the basic workflow with one reference image. There's also a second workflow in the extensions workflow folder. I tweaked it a bit, but it's mostly similar to the original. For now, let's focus on this one. I added a LoRa, nothing more, and placed it outside for reasons you'll see later. There's nothing else to note here. This workflow uses two reference images. Be careful not to mix them up or it'll look a bit chaotic. I'll try to make it cleaner. I set the resolution to 1024x1024, as in the original image, to avoid confusion. With two characters, if we stay in IP mode, I simply wrote in the prompt, two women wearing clothes, drinking beer in a bar with a blurred background. I added a LoRa for the blur effect. Let's see the result. You'll notice that with this node, we can create some really cool stuff. The resemblance is decent, correct for Emma Watson, and the clothing is preserved with a blurred background. Now if we switch to idea mode for both characters, I'm not sure how to differentiate their clothing. Let's say they're wearing dresses and drinking cocktails. Normally the clothing won't be preserved. The result shows the face is less precise, which can happen with flux. Hands and details sometimes go off the rails, but overall it's okay. Now I'll try something else with the idea mode, which I really like. For example, I'll specify that they wear a denim jacket and a red dress. The idea mode focuses on the face, so the clothing should change based on the prompt. The result is here. The extension took the jacket and dress into account, but not the hair color. No big deal. By tweaking, we can dress the characters differently. It's already better for the cocktail glasses. 
Next, I'll keep the blonde woman for one reference and use another for the second. I want to preserve only the face, so I'll use idea mode. For the second image, which is mostly a dress, I'll switch to IP mode and just write woman in the prompt. Apologies for any English mistakes, it's not my native language. The result is pretty good, the resemblance is striking, the hands and glass are correct, and the dress looks great. There's a bag in the image which might have caused a slight glitch, but it works well. To recap, idea mode preserves only the character's face, while IP mode references the entire image. Now I'll try with a shirt. I can't quite recall the English word, let's say clothes. Let's see if it picks up the shirt. For the next test, I'll add a bottle of champagne. With flux, you sometimes get odd results, but with multiple tries, you can achieve consistency in the character and clothing. Now I'll attempt something new. I'm worried the champagne bottle might be misinterpreted, but let's test it. Sorry again for my English. The result shows a champagne bottle, but a second one appeared unexpectedly. The possibilities are impressive, but the prompt needs tweaking. Now I'll have Kim Kardashian play the guitar. The clothing is consistent, but the guitar is a bit off. On a second try, it's much better. The guitar looks great. There's a slight red outline, but it's no big deal. This system is perfect for creating stories with consistent characters in different situations, which is often a challenge with AI. Now I'll test my cat in style mode to see if it can be rendered as a cartoon. The result didn't quite work, the extension didn't do anything special, maybe I need a different image like a comic book style. I'll try with a cartoon guitar image, keeping only the face. The result still shows a guitar but the top is consistent even if it's not quite Kim Kardashian. To improve outlining I added a negative mask to avoid weird edges, especially with complex backgrounds or hair, I also added a module to change the background. For example, I'll remove people in the background and test it. I'm using ControlNet on Flux with Union Pro 2. The results are decent, but the outlining could be better. I also added a X4 upscaling module which is fast and powerful. To go further, I integrated a module to transition from image to video using Runway or another model. I do everything locally to avoid paid services. You can copy the image, adjust the dimensions, 1024x1024, to avoid memory issues, and enable the right modules. For instance, enable the mask first, then the background change. I also added support for more than three reference images using nodes like Image Stitch, which I learned about from Emmanuel Correa's video, a YouTuber I highly recommend for comfy UI tutorials. I suggest updating Comfy UI to take advantage of the latest features. The final result is consistent, even if the outlining isn't perfect. The possibilities are impressive, and by playing with LoRa's and prompts, you can achieve perfect results. This video is a bit long, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, it'd mean a lot. I'm just starting out on YouTube, so subscribing to my channel would be awesome. Thanks, and see you soon.